Malta, listen, Maltese, Milt, officially known as the Republic of Malta Maltese, Repubblica ta Malta, is a southern European island country consisting of an archipelago in the Mediterranean Sea. It lies 80 kilometers 50 miles south of Italy, 284 kilometers 176 miles east of Tunisia, and 333 kilometers 207 miles north of Libya. Malta is one of the world's smallest and most densely populated countries at over 316 square kilometers, 122 square miles with a population of about 475,000. Its capital is Valletta, which is the smallest national capital in the European Union by area at 0.8 km.2 Its largest town is Burkirkara, while its chief economic centre is Slima. The official languages are Maltese and English, with Maltese officially recognised as the national language and the only Semitic language in the European Union. Malta has been inhabited since approximately 5900 BC. Its location in the centre of the Mediterranean has historically given it great strategic importance as a naval base, with a succession of powers having contested and ruled the islands, including the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Romans, Greeks, Byzantines, Arabs, Normans, Sicilians, Spanish, Knights of St. John, French, and British. Most of these foreign influences have left some sort of mark on the country's ancient culture. Malta became a British colony in 1815, serving as a critical way station for ships and the headquarters for the British Mediterranean fleet. It played an important role in the Allied war effort during the Second World War, and was subsequently awarded the George Cross for its bravery in the face of an Axis siege, and the George Cross appears on Malta's national flag. The British Parliament passed the Malta Independence Act in 1964, giving Malta independence from the United Kingdom as the State of Malta, with Queen Elizabeth II as its head of state and queen. The country became a republic in 1974. It has been a member state of the Commonwealth of Nations and the United Nations since independence, and joined the European Union in 2004. It became part of the Eurozone Monetary Union in 2008. Malta has a long Christian legacy and its archdiocese is claimed to be an apostolic see because Paul the Apostle was shipwrecked on Melita, according to Acts of the Apostles, which is now widely taken to be Malta. Catholicism is the official religion in Malta. Article 40 of the Constitution states that, "...all persons in Malta shall have full freedom of conscience and enjoy the free exercise of their respective mode of religious worship." Malta is a popular tourist destination with its warm climate, numerous recreational areas, and architectural and historical monuments, including three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Hypogeum of Hal Saifalini, Valletta, and seven megalithic temples which are some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origin of the name Malta is uncertain, and the modern-day variation is derived from the Maltese language. The most common etymology is that the word Malta is derived from the Greek word meli, meli, honey. The ancient Greeks called the island melite, melite meaning honey sweet, possibly for Malta's unique production of honey, an endemic subspecies of bee lives on the island. The Romans called the island Melita, which can be considered either a Latinization of the Greek Melite or the adaptation of the Doric Greek pronunciation of the same word Melita. Another conjecture suggests that the word Malta comes from the Phoenician word Malath, a haven, or port in reference to Malta's many bays and coves. Few other etymological mentions appear in classical literature, with the term Malta appearing in its present form in the Antonin itinerary. Marat. p. 518, Sil. Ital XIV 251 Topic History Malta has been inhabited from around 5900 BC since the arrival of settlers from the island of Sicily A significant prehistoric Neolithic culture marked by megalithic structures which date back to c 3600 BC, existed on the islands, as evidenced by the temples of Nidra, Gantija and others. The Phoenicians colonized Malta between 800–700 BC, bringing their Semitic language and culture. 
They used the islands as an outpost from which they expanded sea explorations and trade in the Mediterranean until their successors, the Carthaginians, were ousted by the Romans in 216 BC with the help of the Maltese inhabitants, under whom Malta became a municipium, after a period of Byzantine rule 4th to 9th century and a probable sack by the Vandals, the islands were invaded by the Aglabids in AD 870. The fate of the population after the Arab invasion is unclear but it seems the islands may have been completely depopulated and were likely to have been repopulated in the beginning of the 2nd millennium by settlers from Arab-ruled Sicily who spoke Siculo Arabic. The Muslim rule was ended by the Normans who conquered the island in 1091. The islands were completely re-Christianized by 1249. The islands were part of the Kingdom of Sicily until 1530, and were briefly controlled by the Capetian House of Anjou. In 1530 Charles I of Spain gave the Maltese Islands to the Order of Knights of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem in perpetual lease. The French under Napoleon took hold of the Maltese Islands in 1798, although with the aid of the British the Maltese were able to oust French control two years later. The inhabitants subsequently asked Britain to assume sovereignty over the islands under the conditions laid out in a Declaration of Rights, stating that his Majesty has no right to cede these islands to any power less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 if he chooses to withdraw his protection and abandon his sovereignty. The right of electing another sovereign or of the governing of these islands belongs to us, the inhabitants and aborigines alone, and without control. As part of the Treaty of Paris in 1814, Malta became a British colony, ultimately rejecting an attempted integration with the United Kingdom in 1956. Malta became independent on 21 September 1964 Independence Day. Under its 1964 constitution Malta initially retained Queen Elizabeth II as Queen of Malta, with a Governor-General exercising executive authority on her behalf. On 13 December 1974 Republic Day, it became a republic within the Commonwealth, with the President as head of state. On 31 March 1979 Malta saw the withdrawal of the last British troops and the Royal Navy from Malta. This day is known as Freedom Day and Malta declared itself as a neutral and non-aligned state. Malta joined the European Union on 1 May 2004 and joined the Eurozone on 1 January 2008. Prehistory Pottery found by archaeologists at the Scorba temples resembles that found in Italy, and suggests that the Maltese islands were first settled in 5200 BCE mainly by Stone Age hunters or farmers who had arrived from the Italian island of Sicily, possibly the Sicani. The extinction of the dwarf hippos and dwarf elephants has been linked to the earliest arrival of humans on Malta. Prehistoric farming settlements dating to the early Neolithic period were discovered in open areas and also in caves, such as Gar Dalam. The Sikani were the only tribe known to have inhabited the island at this time and are generally regarded as being closely related to the Iberians. The population on Malta grew cereals, raised livestock and, in common with other ancient Mediterranean cultures, worshipped a fertility figure represented in Maltese prehistoric artifacts exhibiting the proportions seen in similar statuettes, including the Venus of Willendorf. Pottery from the Gardalum phase is similar to pottery found in Agrigento, Sicily. A culture of megalithus temple builders then either supplanted or arose from this early period. Around the time of 3500 BCE, these people built some of the oldest existing freestanding structures in the world in the form of the megalithic Gantija temples on Gozo. Other early temples include those at Hagar Qim and Nidra. The temples have distinctive architecture, typically a complex trefoil design, and were used from 4000 to 2500 BCE. Animal bones and a knife found behind a removable altar stone suggest that temple rituals included animal sacrifice. Tentative information suggests that the sacrifices were made to the goddess of fertility, whose statue is now in the National Museum of Archaeology in Valletta. The culture apparently disappeared from the Maltese islands around 2500 BCE. Archaeologists speculate that the temple builders fell victim to famine or disease, but this is not certain. Another archaeological feature of the Maltese islands often attributed to these ancient builders is equidistant uniform grooves dubbed cart tracks or cart ruts, which can be found in several locations throughout the islands, with the most prominent being those found in Misra Gar il Kbir, which is informally known as Clapham Junction. 
These may have been caused by wooden wheeled carts eroding soft limestone. After 2500 BCE, the Maltese islands were depopulated for several decades until the arrival of a new influx of Bronze Age immigrants, a culture that cremated its dead and introduced smaller megalithic structures called dolmens to Malta. In most cases, there are small chambers here, with the cover made of a large slab placed on upright stones. They are claimed to belong to a population certainly different from that which built the previous megalithic temples. It is presumed the population arrived from Sicily because of the similarity of Maltese dolmens to some small constructions found on the largest island of the Mediterranean Sea. Topic: <laughs> Greeks, Phoenicians, Carthaginians and Romans. Phoenician traders colonized the islands sometime after 1000 BCE as a stop on their trade routes from the eastern Mediterranean to Cornwall, joining the natives on the island. The Phoenicians inhabited the area now known as Medina, and its surrounding town of Rabat, which they called Malath. The Romans, who also much later inhabited Medina, referred to it and the island as Melita. After the fall of Phoenicia in 332 BCE, the area came under the control of Carthage, a former Phoenician colony. During this time, the people on Malta mainly cultivated olives and carob and produced textiles. During the First Punic War, the island was conquered after harsh fighting by Marcus Atilius Regulus. After the failure of his expedition, the island fell back in the hands of Carthage, only to be conquered again in 218 BCE, during the Second Punic War, by Roman consul Tiberius Sempronius Longus. After that, Malta became Fodorata Civitas, a designation that meant it was exempt from paying tribute or the rule of Roman law, and fell within the jurisdiction of the province of Sicily. Punic influence, however, remained vibrant on the islands with the famous Sipi of Melkart, pivotal in deciphering the Punic language, dedicated in the 2nd century BCE. Also the local Roman coinage, which ceased in the 1st century BCE, indicates the slow pace of the island's Romanization, since the very last locally minted coins still bear inscriptions in ancient Greek on the obverse like Melitio, meaning of the Maltese, and Punic motifs, showing the resistance of the Greek and Punic cultures. The Greeks settled in the Maltese islands beginning circa 700 BCE, as testified by several architectural remains, and remained throughout the Roman dominium. At around 160 BCE coins struck in Malta bore the Greek Melitian Melitian meaning of the Maltese. By 50 BCE Maltese coins had a Greek legend on one side and a Latin one on the other. Later coins were issued with just the Latin legend M-E-L-I-T-A-S. The depiction of aspects of the Punic religion, together with the use of the Greek alphabet, testifies to the resilience of Punic and Greek culture in Malta long after the arrival of the Romans. In the 1st century BCE, Roman senator and orator Cicero commented on the importance of the Temple of Juno, and on the extravagant behavior of the Roman governor of Sicily, Vares. During the 1st century BCE the island was mentioned by Pliny the Elder and Diodorus Siculus, the latter praised its harbours, the wealth of its inhabitants, its lavishly decorated houses and the quality of its textile products. In the 2nd century, Emperor Hadrian r. upgraded the status of Malta to municipium or free town. The island local affairs were administered by four quatuorvari iuri dicundo and a municipal senate, while a Roman procurator, living in Medina, represented the proconsul of Sicily. In 58 CE, Paul the Apostle was washed up on the islands together with Luke the Evangelist after their ship was wrecked on the islands. Paul the Apostle remained on the islands three months, preaching the Christian faith, which has since thrived on Malta. In 395, when the Roman Empire was divided for the last time at the death of Theodosius I, Malta, following Sicily, fell under the control of the Western Roman Empire. During the migration period as the Western Roman Empire declined, Malta came under attack and was conquered or occupied a number of times. From 454 to 464 the islands was subdued by the Vandals, and after 464 by the Ostrogoths. In 533 Belisarius, on his way to conquer the Vandal Kingdom in North Africa, reunited the islands under imperial Eastern rule. Little is known about the Byzantine rule in Malta, the island depended on the theme of Sicily and had Greek governors and a small Greek garrison. While the bulk of population continued to be constituted by the old, Latinized dwellers, during this period its religious allegiance oscillated between the Pope and the Patriarch of Constantinople. The Byzantine rule introduced Greek families to the Maltese collective. 
Malta remained under the Byzantine Empire until 870, when it fell to the Arabs. Topic: <inaudible> Arab period and the Middle Ages. Malta became involved in the Arab-Byzantine Wars, and the conquest of Malta is closely linked with that of Sicily that began in 827 after Admiral Euphemius's betrayal of his fellow Byzantines, requesting that the Aglabids invade the island. The Muslim chronicler and geographer al himyari recounts that in 870 CE, following a violent struggle against the occupying Byzantines, the Arab invaders, first led by Halif al-Hadam, and later by Sawada ibn Muhammad, looted and pillaged the island, destroying the most important buildings, and leaving it practically uninhabited until it was recolonized by the Arabs from Sicily in 1048–1049 CE. It is uncertain whether this new settlement took place as a consequence of demographic expansion in Sicily, as a result of a higher standard of living in Sicily in which case the recolonization may have taken place a few decades earlier, or as a result of civil war which broke out among the Arab rulers of Sicily in 1038. The Arab agricultural revolution introduced new irrigation, some fruits and cotton, and the siculo arabic language was adopted on the island from Sicily. It would eventually evolve into the Maltese language. The Christians on the island were allowed freedom of religion, they had to pay jizya, a tax for non-Muslims, but were exempt from the tax that Muslims had to pay zakat. <laughs> Norman conquest The Normans attacked Malta in 1091, as part of their conquest of Sicily. The Norman leader, Roger I of Sicily, was welcomed by Christian captives. The notion that Count Roger I reportedly tore off a portion of his checkered red and white banner and presented it to the Maltese in gratitude for having fought on his behalf, forming the basis of the modern flag of Malta, is founded in myth. The Norman period was productive, Malta became part of the newly formed Kingdom of Sicily which also covered the island of Sicily and the southern half of the Italian peninsula. The Catholic Church was reinstated as the state religion with Malta under the See of Palermo, and some Norman architecture sprung up around Malta especially in its ancient capital Medina. Tancred, King of Sicily, the last Norman monarch, made Malta a fief of the kingdom and installed a Count of Malta. As the islands were much desired due to their strategic importance, it was during this time the men of Malta were militarized to fend off capture attempts. Early counts were skilled Genoese privateers. The kingdom passed on to the dynasty of Hohenstaufen from 1194 until 1266. During this period, when Frederick II of Hohenstaufen began to reorganize his Sicilian kingdom, Western culture and religion began to exert their influence more intensely. Malta was declared a county and a marquisate, but its trade was totally ruined. For a long time it remained solely a fortified garrison, a mass expulsion of Arabs occurred in 1224 and the entire Christian male population of Chilano in Abruzzo was deported to Malta in the same year. In 1249 Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor, decreed that all remaining Muslims be expelled from Malta or impelled to convert. For a brief period the kingdom passed to the Capetian House of Anjou, but high taxes made the dynasty unpopular in Malta, due in part to Charles of Anjou's war against the Republic of Genoa, and the island of Gozo was sacked in 1275. A large revolt on Sicily known as the Sicilian Vespers followed these attacks, a revolt that saw the peninsula separating into the Kingdom of Naples. Topic. Crown of Aragon rule and the Knights of Malta Malta was ruled by the House of Barcelona, an Aragonese dynasty from 1282 to 1409, with the Aragonese aiding the Maltese insurgents in the Sicilian Vespers in a naval battle in Grand Harbour in 1283. Relatives of the kings of Aragon ruled the island until 1409, when it formally passed to the Crown of Aragon. Early on in the Aragonese ascendancy, the sons of the monarchy received the title, Count of Malta. During this time much of the local nobility was created. By 1397, however, the bearing of the title, Count of Malta, reverted to a feudal basis, with two families fighting over the distinction, which caused some conflict. This led the Martin I of Sicily to abolish the title. Dispute over the title returned when the title was reinstated a few years later and the Maltese, led by the local nobility, rose up against Count Gonsalvo Monroy. Although they opposed the count, the Maltese voiced their loyalty to the Sicilian crown, which so impressed Alfonso V of Aragon that he did not punish the people for their rebellion. Instead, he promised never to grant the title to a third party, and incorporated it back into the crown. 
The city of Medina was given the title of Sita Notabile as a result of this sequence of events. On 23 March 1530, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, gave the islands to the Knights Hospitaller under the leadership of Frenchman Philippe Villiers de Lille Adam, Grand Master of the Order, in perpetual lease for which they had to pay an annual tribute of one single Maltese falcon. These knights, a military religious order now known as the Knights of Malta, had been driven out of Rhodes by the Ottoman Empire in 1522. The Order of St. John, also known as the Knights Hospitaller, or the Knights of Malta, were the rulers of Malta and Gozo between 1530 and 1798. During this period, the strategic and military importance of the island grew greatly as the small yet efficient fleet of the Order of St. John launched their attacks from this new base targeting the shipping lanes of the Ottoman territories around the Mediterranean Sea. In 1551, the population of the island of Gozo around 5, people were taken as slaves by Barbary pirates and brought to the Barbary coast in present-day Libya. The knights, led by Frenchman Jean Parizo de Villette, Grand Master of the Order, withstood the Great Siege of Malta by the Ottomans in 1565. The knights, with the help of Spanish and Maltese forces, were victorious and repelled the attack. Speaking of the battle Voltaire said, "...nothing is better known than the Siege of Malta." After the siege they decided to increase Malta's fortifications, particularly in the inner harbour area, where the new city of Valletta, named in honour of Valette, was built. They also established watchtowers along the coasts, the Wignacourt, Liscaris and de Redden Towers, named after the Grand Masters who ordered the work. The knight's presence on the island saw the completion of many architectural and cultural projects, including the embellishment of Sita Vittoriosa modern Burgu, the construction of new cities including Sita Rohan modern Zebug. Zebug is one of the oldest cities of Malta, it also has one of the largest squares of Malta. Sita Hampesh modern Zabur, is a village which is also very old. Approximately 11,000 people out of a population of 60,000 died of plague in 1675. Topic. French period The night's reign ended when Napoleon captured Malta on his way to Egypt during the French Revolutionary Wars in 1798. Over the years preceding Napoleon's capture of the islands, the power of the knights had declined and the order had become unpopular. This was around the time when the universal values of freedom and liberty were incarnated by the French Revolution. People from both inside the order and outside appealed to Napoleon Bonaparte to oust the knights. Napoleon Bonaparte did not hesitate. His fleet arrived in 1798, en route to his expedition of Egypt. As a ruse towards the knights, Napoleon asked for safe harbour to resupply his ships, and then turned his guns against his hosts once safely inside Valletta. Grand Master Hompesh capitulated, and Napoleon entered Malta. During 12–18 June 1798, Napoleon resided at the Palazzo Parisio in Valletta. He reformed national administration with the creation of a government commission, 12 municipalities, a public finance administration, the abolition of all feudal rights and privileges, the abolition of slavery and the granting of freedom to all Turkish and Jewish slaves. On the judicial level, a family code was framed and 12 judges were nominated. Public education was organized along principles laid down by Bonaparte himself, providing for primary and secondary education. He then sailed for Egypt leaving a substantial garrison in Malta. The French forces left behind became unpopular with the Maltese, due particularly to the French Fosse's hostility towards Catholicism and pillaging of local churches to fund Napoleon's war efforts. French financial and religious policies so angered the Maltese that they rebelled, forcing the French to depart. Great Britain, along with the Kingdom of Naples and the Kingdom of Sicily, sent ammunition and aid to the Maltese and Britain also sent her navy, which blockaded the islands. General Claude Henri Belgrand de Vaubois surrendered his French forces in 1800. Maltese leaders presented the island to Sir Alexander Ball, asking that the island become a British dominion. The Maltese people created a declaration of rights in which they agreed to come. Under the protection and sovereignty of the King of the Free People, His Majesty the King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland." The declaration also stated that, "...His Majesty has no right to cede these islands to any power 
less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 if he chooses to withdraw his protection and abandon his sovereignty the right of electing another sovereign or of the governing of these islands belongs to us the inhabitants and aborigines alone and without control topic <laughs> british empire and the second world war In 1814, as part of the Treaty of Paris, Malta officially became a part of the British Empire and was used as a shipping way station and fleet headquarters. After the Suez Canal opened in 1869, Malta's position halfway between the Strait of Gibraltar and Egypt proved to be its main asset, and it was considered an important stop on the way to India, a central trade route for the British. Because of its position, several culinary and botanical products were introduced in Malta. Some examples derived from the National Book of Trade Customs found in the National Library include wheat for bread making and bacon. Between 1915 and 1918, during the First World War, Malta became known as the nurse of the Mediterranean due to the large number of wounded soldiers who were accommodated in Malta. In 1919, British troops fired on a rally protesting against new taxes, killing four Maltese men. The event, known as Set Junio Italian for the 7th of June, is commemorated every year and is one of five national days. Before the Second World War, Valletta was the location of the Royal Navy's Mediterranean Fleet's headquarters. However, despite Winston Churchill's objections, the command was moved to Alexandria, Egypt, in April 1937 out of fear that it was too susceptible to air attacks from Europe. During the Second World War, Malta played an important role for the Allies, being a British colony, situated close to Sicily and the Axis shipping lanes. Malta was bombarded by the Italian and German air forces. Malta was used by the British to launch attacks on the Italian Navy and had a submarine base. It was also used as a listening post, intercepting German radio messages including Enigma traffic. The bravery of the Maltese people during the Second Siege of Malta moved King George VI to award the George Cross to Malta on a collective basis on 15 April 1942, "...to bear witness to a heroism and devotion that will long be famous in history." Some historians argue that the award caused Britain to incur disproportionate losses in defending Malta, as British credibility would have suffered if Malta surrendered, as British forces in Singapore had done. A depiction of the George Cross now appears in the upper hoist corner of the flag of Malta. The collective award remained unique until April 1999, when the Royal Ulster Constabulary became the second, and, to date, the only other, recipient of a collective George Cross. Topic. Independence and Republic Malta achieved its independence as the state of Malta on 21 September 1964 Independence Day after intense negotiations with the United Kingdom, led by Maltese Prime Minister George Borg Olivier. Under its 1964 constitution, Malta initially retained Queen Elizabeth II as Queen of Malta and thus Head of State, with a Governor-General exercising executive authority on her behalf. In 1971, the Malta Labour Party led by Dom Mintoff won the general elections, resulting in Malta declaring itself a republic on 13 December 1974 Republic Day within the Commonwealth, with the President as head of state. A defence agreement was signed soon after independence, and after being renegotiated in 1972, expired on 31 March 1979. Upon its expiry, the British base closed down and all lands formerly controlled by the British on the island were given up to the Maltese government. Malta adopted a policy of neutrality in 1980. In 1989, Malta was the venue of a summit between US President George H. W. Bush and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, their first face-to-face -face encounter, which signaled the end of the Cold War. On the 16th of July 1990, Malta, through its foreign minister, Guido De Marco, applied to join the European Union. After tough negotiations, a referendum was held on 8 March 2003, which resulted in a favourable vote. General elections held on 12 April 2003, gave a clear mandate to the Prime Minister, Eddie Fenwick Adami, to sign the Treaty of Accession to the European Union on 16 April 2003 in Athens, Greece. Malta joined the European Union on 1 May 2004. Following the European Council of 21 to 22 June 2007, Malta joined the eurozone on the 1st of January 2008. Topic: Politics. 
Malta is a republic whose parliamentary system and public administration are closely modelled on the Westminster system. Malta had the second highest voter turnout in the world and the highest for nations without mandatory voting, based on election turnout in national lower house elections from 1960 to 1995. The unicameral parliament is made up of the President and the House of Representatives Maltese, Camera Tad Deputatie, which is elected by direct universal suffrage through single transferable vote every five years, unless the House is dissolved earlier by the President either on advice of the Prime Minister or through the adoption of a motion of no confidence carried within the House of Representatives and not overturned within three days. In either of these cases, the President may alternatively choose to invite another member of Parliament who invariably should command the majority of the House of Representatives to form an alternative government for the remainder of the legislature. The House of Representatives is nominally made up of 65 members of Parliament whereby five members of Parliament are elected from each of the 13 electoral districts. However, where a party wins an absolute majority of votes, but does not have a majority of seats, that party is given additional seats to ensure a parliamentary majority. The 80th Article of the Constitution of Malta provides that the President appoint as Prime Minister the member of the House of Representatives who, in his judgment, is best able to command the support of a majority of the members of that House. The President of Malta is appointed for a five-year term by a resolution of the House of Representatives carried by a simple majority. The role of the President as head of state is largely ceremonial. The main political parties are the Nationalist Party, which is a Christian Democratic Party, and the Labour Party, which is a Social Democratic Party. As of 2018 the Labour Party is at the helm of the government, the Prime Minister being Joseph Muscat. The Nationalist Party, with Adrian Delia as its leader, is in opposition. The Democratic Party is the only small party which has two seats in Parliament. The seats were gained when the Democratic Party contested under the Nationalist Party candidate grouping in the 2017 elections but this arrangement was later terminated in that same year. There are small political parties in Malta which have no parliamentary representation. Until the Second World War, Maltese politics was dominated by the language question fought out by Italophone and Anglophone parties. Post-war politics dealt with constitutional questions on the relations with Britain first with integration then independence and, eventually, relations with the European Union. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions Malta has had a system of local government since 1993, based on the European Charter of Local Self-Government. The country is divided into five regions one of them being Gozo, with each region having its own regional committee, serving as the intermediate level between local government and national government. The regions are divided into local councils, of which there are currently 68 54 in Malta and 14 in Gozo. 16. Hamlets which form part of larger councils, have their own administrative committee. The six districts five on Malta and the sixth being Gozo serve primarily statistical purposes. Each council is made up of a number of councillors from 5 to 13, depending on and relative to the population they represent. A mayor and a deputy mayor are elected by and from the councillors. The executive secretary, who is appointed by the council, is the executive, administrative and financial head of the council. Councillors are elected every four years through the single transferable vote. People who are eligible to vote in the election of the Maltese House of Representatives as well as resident citizens of the EU are eligible to vote. Due to system reforms, no elections were held before 2012. Since then, elections have been held every two years for an alternating half of the councils. Local councils are responsible for the general upkeep and embellishment of the locality including repairs to non-arterial roads, allocation of local wardens and refuse collection. They also carry out general administrative duties for the central government such as collection of government rents and funds and answer government-related public inquiries. Additionally, a number of individual towns and villages in the Republic of Malta have sister cities. Topic: <laughs> Military The objectives of the Armed Forces of Malta AFM are to maintain a military organization with the primary aim of defending the island's integrity according to the defense roles as set by the government in an efficient and cost-effective manner. 
This is achieved by emphasizing the maintenance of Malta's territorial waters and airspace integrity. The AFM also engages in combating terrorism, fighting against illicit drug trafficking, conducting anti illegal immigrant operations and patrols, and anti illegal fishing operations, operating search and rescue services, and physical or electronic security and surveillance of sensitive locations. Malta's search and rescue area extends from east of Tunisia to west of Crete, covering an area of around 250,000 square kilometers. As a military organization, the AFM provides backup support to the Malta Police Force (MPF) and other government departments, agencies in situations as required in an organized, disciplined manner in the event of national emergencies such as natural disasters or internal security and bomb disposal. On another level, the AFM establishes or consolidates bilateral cooperation with other countries to reach higher operational effectiveness related to AFM roles. Geography Malta is an archipelago in the central Mediterranean in its eastern basin, some 80 kilometres 50 miles south of the Italian island of Sicily across the Malta Channel. Only the three largest islands, Malta, Malta Gozo Godix, and Camino Kemuna, are inhabited. The smaller islands see below are uninhabited. The islands of the archipelago lie on the Malta Plateau, a shallow shell formed from the high points of a land bridge between Sicily and North Africa that became isolated as sea levels rose after the last ice age. The archipelago is therefore situated in the zone between the Eurasian and African tectonic plates. Malta was considered an island of North Africa for centuries. Numerous bays along the indented coastline of the islands provide good harbors. The landscape consists of low hills with terraced fields. The highest point in Malta is Ta de Medric, at 253 metres 830 feet, near Dingli. Although there are some small rivers at times of high rainfall, there are no permanent rivers or lakes on Malta. However, some watercourses have fresh water running all year round at Barija near Ras i R Rahab, at El Imtalib and San Martin, and at Lunzjata Valley in Gozo. Phytogeographically, Malta belongs to the Ligurotorinian province of the Mediterranean region within the Boreal Kingdom. According to the WWF, the territory of Malta belongs to the ecoregion of Mediterranean forests, woodlands and scrub. The minor islands that form part of the archipelago are uninhabited and include Topic: <laughs> Climate Malta has a Mediterranean climate, Köppen climate classification CSA, with mild winters and hot summers, hotter in the inland areas. Rain occurs mainly in autumn and winter, with summer being generally dry. The average yearly temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 15.5 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit at night. In the coldest month, January, the typical maximum temperature ranges from 12 to 18 degrees Celsius 54 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and minimum 6 to 12 degrees Celsius 43 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit at night. In the warmest month, August, the typical maximum temperature ranges from 28 to 34 degrees Celsius 82 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and minimum 20 to 24 degrees Celsius 68 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Amongst all capitals in the continent of Europe, Valletta, the capital of Malta has the warmest winters, with average temperatures of around 15 to 16 degrees Celsius 59 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 9 to 10 degrees Celsius 48 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit at night in the period January to February. In March and December average temperatures are around 17 degrees Celsius 63 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 11 degrees Celsius 52 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Large fluctuations in temperature are rare. Snow is very rare on the island, although various snowfalls have been recorded in the last century, the last one reported in various locations across Malta in 2014. The average annual sea temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, from 15 to 16 degrees Celsius, 59 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit in February to 26 degrees Celsius, 79 degrees Fahrenheit in August. 
In the six months, from June to November, the average sea temperature exceeds 20 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. .The annual average relative humidity is high, averaging 75%, ranging from 65% in July morning, 78% evening, 53% to 80% in December morning, 83% evening, 73%, sunshine duration hours total around 3,000 per year, from an average 5.2 hours of sunshine duration per day in December to an average above 12 hours in July. This is about double that of cities in the northern half of Europe, for comparison, London 1461, however, in winter it has up to four times more sunshine, for comparison, in December, London has 37 hours of sunshine whereas Malta has above 160. <inaudible> Urbanisation According to Eurostat, Malta is composed of two larger urban zones nominally referred to as Valletta, the main island of Malta, and Gozo. According to Demographia, state is identified as an urban area. According to European Spatial Planning Observation Network, Malta is identified as Functional Urban Area FUA. According to United Nations, about 95% of the area of Malta is urban and the number grows every year. Also, according to the results of ESPON and EU Commission studies, the whole territory of Malta constitutes a single urban region. Occasionally in the media and official publications Malta is referred to as a city-state. Also, the Maltese coat of arms bears a mural crown described as representing the fortifications of Malta and denoting a city-state. Malta, with area of 316 square kilometers (122 square miles) and population of 0.4 million, is one of the most densely populated countries worldwide. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. Malta is classified as an advanced economy together with 32 other countries according to the International Monetary Fund (IMF). Until 1800 Malta depended on cotton, tobacco and its shipyards for exports. Once under British control, they came to depend on Malta Dockyard for support of the Royal Navy, especially during the Crimean War of 1854. The military base benefited craftsmen and all those who served the military. In 1869, the opening of the Suez Canal gave Malta's economy a great boost, as there was a massive increase in the shipping which entered the port. Ships stopping at Malta's docks for refueling helped the entrepot trade, which brought additional benefits to the island. However, towards the end of the 19th century the economy began declining, and by the 1940s Malta's economy was in serious crisis. One factor was the longer range of newer merchant ships that required less frequent refueling stops. Currently, Malta's major resources are limestone, a favourable geographic location and a productive labour force. Malta produces only about 20% of its food needs, has limited freshwater supplies because of the drought in the summer and has no domestic energy sources, aside from the potential for solar energy from its plentiful sunlight. The economy is dependent on foreign trade serving as a freight transshipment point, manufacturing especially electronics and textiles and tourism. Film production is a growing contributor to the Maltese economy. The first film was shot in Malta in 1925, Sons of the Sea. Over 100 feature films have been entirely or partially filmed in the country since then. Malta has served as a double for a wide variety of locations and historic periods including ancient Greece, ancient and modern Rome, Iraq, the Middle East and many more. The Maltese government introduced financial incentives for filmmakers in 2005. The current financial incentives to foreign productions as of 2015 stand at 25% with an additional 2% if Malta stands in as Malta, meaning a production can get up to 27% back on their eligible spending incurred in Malta. The government is investing heavily in education, including college. In preparation for Malta's membership in the European Union, which it joined on 1 May 2004, it privatised some state-controlled firms and liberalised markets. For example, the government announced on 8 January 2007 that it was selling its 40% stake in Multipost, to complete a privatization process which has been ongoing for the past five years. In 2010, Malta managed to privatize telecommunications, postal services, shipyards and shipbuilding. 
Malta has a financial regulator, the Malta Financial Services Authority MFSA, with a strong business development mindset, and the country has been successful in attracting gaming businesses, aircraft and ship registration, credit card issuing banking licenses and also fund administration. Service providers to these industries, including fiduciary and trustee business, are a core part of the growth strategy of the island. Malta has made strong headway in implementing EU financial services directives including UCITs IV and soon AIFMD. As a base for alternative asset managers who must comply with new directives, Malta has attracted a number of key players including IDS, Iconic Funds, Apex Fund Services and TMF, Customs House. Malta and Tunisia are currently discussing the commercial exploitation of the continental shelf between their countries, particularly for petroleum exploration. These discussions are also undergoing between Malta and Libya for similar arrangements. Malta does not have a property tax. Its property market, especially around the harbour area, has been in constant boom, with the prices of apartments in some towns like St. Julian's, Slima and G0 skyrocketing. According to Eurostat data, Maltese GDP per capita stood at 88% of the EU average in 2015 with €21,000. Banking and finance The two largest commercial banks are Bank of Valletta and HSBC Bank Malta, both of which can trace their origins back to the 19th century. The Central Bank of Malta Bank Malta has two key areas of responsibility, the formulation and implementation of monetary policy and the promotion of a sound and efficient financial system. It was established by the Central Bank of Malta Act on 17 April 1968. The Maltese government entered ERM II on 4 May 2005, and adopted the euro as the country's currency on 1 January 2008. FinanciMalta is the quasi governmental organization tasked with marketing and educating business leaders in coming to Malta and runs seminars and events around the world highlighting the emerging strength of Malta as a jurisdiction for banking and finance and insurance. Topic. Transport Traffic in Malta drives on the left. Car ownership in Malta is exceedingly high, considering the very small size of the islands, it is the fourth highest in the European Union. The number of registered cars in 1990 amounted to 182,254, giving an automobile density of 577 per square kilometers, 1,494 per square miles. Malta has 2,254 kilometers, 1,401 miles of road, 1,972 kilometers, 1,225 miles, 87.5% of which are paved and 282 kilometers, 175 miles were unpaved as of December 2003. The main roads of Malta from the southernmost point to the northernmost point are these, Trike Brzebuga in Brzebuga, Gar Dalam Road and Tal Barani Road in Zegtan, Santa Luzia Avenue in Paola, Aldo Moro Street Trunk Road, the 13th of December Street and Hamran Marsa Bypass in Marsa, Regional Road in Santa Venera, MSIDA, Gazira, San Guan, St. Andrews Road in Suiki, Pembroke, Malta, Coast Road in Bihar Ike Kagak, Salina Road, Kennedy Drive, St. Paul's Bypass and Zemshia Hill in San Paul Il Bihar, Mistra Hill, Weddinger Street Melieja Bypass and Marfa Road in Melieja. Buses Zarabank or Carosa Tal Linja are the primary method of public transport. Established in 1905, they operated in the Maltese Islands up to 2011 and became popular tourist attractions in their own right. To this day they are depicted on many Maltese advertisements to promote tourism as well as on gifts and merchandise for tourists. The bus service underwent an extensive reform in July 2011. The management structure changed from having self-employed drivers driving their own vehicles to a service being offered by a single company through a public tender in Gozo, being considered as a small network. The service was given through direct order. The public tender was won by Arriva Malta, a member of the Arriva Group, which introduced a fleet of brand new buses, built by King Long especially for service by Arriva Malta and including a smaller fleet of articulated buses brought in from Arriva London. It also operated two smaller buses for an intra Valletta route only and 61 9-metre buses, which were used to ease congestion on high-density routes. Overall Arriva Malta operated 264 buses. 
On 1 January 2014 Arriva ceased operations in Malta due to financial difficulties, having been nationalised as Malta Public Transport by the Maltese government, with a new bus operator planned to take over their operations in the near future. The government chose Autobuses Urbanos de Leon as its preferred bus operator for the country in October 2014. The company took over the bus service on 8 January 2015, while retaining the name Malta Public Transport. It introduced the pre-pay Talinja card. With lower fares than the walk-on rate, it can be topped up online. The card was initially not well received, as reported by several local news sites. During the first week of August 2015, another 40 buses of the Turkish make Atakar arrived and were put into service. From 1883 to 1931, Malta had a railway line that connected Valletta to the army barracks at M. Tafa via Medina and a number of towns and villages. The railway fell into disuse and eventually closed altogether, following the introduction of electric trams and buses. At the height of the bombing of Malta during the Second World War, Mussolini announced that his forces had destroyed the railway system, but by the time war broke out, the railway had been mothballed for more than nine years. Malta has three large natural harbours on its main island, the Grand Harbour or Port Il Kbir, located at the eastern side of the capital city of Valletta, has been a harbour since Roman times. It has several extensive docks and wharves, as well as a cruise liner terminal. A terminal at the Grand Harbour serves ferries that connect Malta to Pozzolo and Catania in Sicily. Marsamzit Harbour, located on the western side of Valletta, accommodates a number of yacht marinas. Marsaxlok Harbour, Malta Freeport, at Brzebuga on the southeastern side of Malta, is the island's main cargo terminal. Malta Freeport is the 11th busiest container ports in continent of Europe and 46th in the world with a trade volume of 2.3 million TEUs in 2008. There are also two man made harbours that serve a passenger and car ferry service that connects Sirkua Harbour on Malta and Maguire Harbour on Gozo. The ferry makes numerous runs each day. Malta International Airport Malta is the only airport serving the Maltese Islands. It is built on the land formerly occupied by the RAF Luca Air Base. A heliport is also located there, but the scheduled service to Gozo ceased in 2006. The heliport in Gozo is at Zucchia. Since June 2007, Harbour Air Malta has operated a thrice daily float plane service between the sea terminal in Grand Harbour and MGARR Harbour in Gozo. Two further airfields at Ta Kali and Hal Far operated during the Second World War and into the 1960s but are now closed. Today, Ta Kali houses a national park, stadium, the Crafts Village Visitor Attraction and the Malta Aviation Museum. This museum preserves several aircraft, including Hurricane and Spitfire fighters that defended the island in the Second World War. The national airline is Air Malta, which is based at Malta International Airport and operates services to 36 destinations in Europe and North Africa. The owners of Air Malta are the Government of Malta and private investors 2%. Air Malta employs 1,547 staff. It has a 25% shareholding in Medavia. Air Malta has concluded over 191 interline ticketing agreements with other IATA airlines. It also has a codeshare agreement with Qantas covering three routes. In September 2007, Air Malta made two agreements with Abu Dhabi-based Etihad Airways by which Air Malta wet leased two Airbus aircraft to Etihad Airways for the winter period starting 1 September 2007, and provided operational support on another Airbus A320 aircraft which it leased to Etihad Airways. Topic. Communications. The mobile penetration rate in Malta exceeded 100% by the end of 2009. Malta uses the GSM 900, UMTS 3G, and LTE 4G mobile phone systems, which are compatible with the rest of the European countries, Australia and New Zealand. Telephone and cellular subscribers numbers have eight digits. There are no area codes in Malta, but after inception, the original first two numbers, and currently the third and fourth digit, were assigned according to the locality. Fixed line telephone numbers have the prefix 21 and 27, although businesses may have numbers starting 22 or 23. An example would be 2 asterisk 80 asterisk 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 if from Zabur, and 2 asterisk 23 asterisk 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 if from Marsa. 
Gozatan landline numbers generally are assigned 2 asterisk 56 asterisk 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 asterisk. Mobile telephone numbers have the prefix 77, 79, 98 or 99. When calling Malta from abroad, one must first dial the international access code, then the country code plus 356 and the subscriber's number. The number of pay TV subscribers fell as customers switched to Internet Protocol Television IPTV. the number of IPTV subscribers doubled in the six months to June 2012. In late 2012, Go began expanding its fiber to the home FTTH network and capabilities, offering speeds of up to 200 megabits per second for its Rapido service. In early 2012, the government called for a national FTTH network to be built, with a minimum broadband service being upgraded from 4 megabits per second to 100 megabits per second. Topic: <inaudible> Currency. <inaudible> Maltese euro coins feature the Maltese cross on 2 euros and 1 euro coins, the coat of arms of Malta on the 50 cents, 20 cents and 10 cents coins, and the Nidra temples on the 5 cents, 2 cents and 1 cent coins. Malta has produced collectors coins with face value ranging from 10 to 50 euro. These coins continue an existing national practice of minting of silver and gold commemorative coins. Unlike normal issues, these coins are not accepted in all the eurozone. For instance, a 10 euros Maltese commemorative coin cannot be used in any other country. From 1972 until introduction of the euro in 2008, the currency was the Maltese lira, which had replaced the Maltese pound. The pound replaced the Maltese scudo in 1825. Topic: <inaudible> Tourism. Malta is a popular tourist destination with 1.6 million tourists per year. Three times more tourists visit than there are residents. Tourism infrastructure has increased dramatically over the years and a number of hotels are present on the island, although overdevelopment and the destruction of traditional housing is of growing concern. An increasing number of Maltese now travel abroad on holiday. In recent years, Malta has advertised itself as a medical tourism destination, and a number of health tourism providers are developing the industry. However, no Maltese hospital has undergone independent international healthcare accreditation. Malta is popular with British medical tourists, pointing Maltese hospitals towards seeking UK-sourced accreditation, such as with the Trent Accreditation Scheme. Science and technology Malta signed a cooperation agreement with the European Space Agency for more intensive cooperation in ESA projects. The Malta Council for Science and Technology MCST is the civil body responsible for the development of science and technology on an educational and social level. Most science students in Malta graduate from the University of Malta and are represented by S cubed Science Students Society, UESA University Engineering Students Association and ICTSA University of Malta ICT Students Association. Topic Demographics Malta conducts a census of population and housing every 10 years. The census held in November 2005 counted an estimated 96% of the population. A preliminary report was issued in April 2006 and the results were weighted to estimate for 100% of the population. Native Maltese people make up the majority of the island. However, there are minorities, the largest of which are Britons, many of whom are retirees. The population of Malta as of July 2011 was estimated at 408,000. As of 2005, 17% were aged 14 and under, 68% were within the 15-64 age bracket whilst the remaining 13% were 65 years and over. Malta's population density of 1,282 per square km 3,322 per square miles is by far the highest in the EU and one of the highest in the world. By comparison, the average population density for the world land only, excluding Antarctica, was 54 pop per square kilometre as of July 2014. The only census year showing a fall in population was that of 1967, with a 1.7% total decrease, attributable to a substantial number of Maltese residents who emigrated. 
The Maltese resident population for 2004 was estimated to make up 97.0% of the total resident population. All censuses since 1842 have shown a slight excess of females over males. The 1901 and 1911 censuses came closest to recording a balance. The highest female to male ratio was reached in 1957, 1088 to 1000, but since then the ratio has dropped continuously. The 2005 census showed a 1,013 to 1,000 female to male ratio. Population growth has slowed down, from plus 9.5% between the 1985 and 1995 censuses, to plus 6.9% between the 1995 and 2005 censuses a yearly average of plus 0.7%. The birth rate stood at 3,860 a decrease of 21.8 percent from the 1995 census and the death rate stood at 3,025. Thus, there was a natural population increase of 835 compared to plus 888 for 2004, of which over a hundred were foreign residents. The population's age composition is similar to the age structure prevalent in the EU. Since 1967 there was observed a trend indicating an aging population, and is expected to continue in the foreseeable future. Malta's old age dependency ratio rose from 17.2% in 1995 to 19.8% in 2005, reasonably lower than the EU's 24.9% average. 31.5% of the Maltese population is aged under 25, compared to the EU's 29.1%, but the 50 to 64 age group constitutes 20.3% of the population, significantly higher than the EU's 17.9%. Malta's old age dependency ratio is expected to continue rising steadily in the coming years. Maltese legislation recognizes both civil and canonical ecclesiastical marriages. Annulments by the ecclesiastical and civil courts are unrelated and are not necessarily mutually endorsed. Malta voted in favor of divorce legislation in a referendum held on 28 May 2011. Abortion in Malta is illegal. A person must be 16 to marry. The number of brides aged under 25 decreased from 1471 in 1997 to 766 in 2005, while the number of grooms under 25 decreased from 823 to 311. There is a constant trend that females are more likely than males to marry young. In 2005 there were 51 brides aged between 16 and 19, compared to 8 grooms. At the end of 2007 the population of the Maltese Islands stood at 410,290 and is expected to reach 424,028 by 2025. At the moment, females slightly outnumber males, making up 50.3% of the population. The largest proportion of persons 7.5%, were aged 25 to 29, while there were 7.3% falling into each of the 45 to 49 and 55 to 59 age brackets. The total fertility rate TFR as of 2013 was estimated at 1.53 children born woman, which is below the replacement rate of 2.1. In 2012, 25.8% of births were to unmarried women. The life expectancy in 2013 was estimated at 79.98 years 77.69 years male, 82.41 years female. Languages The Maltese language Maltese, Malti, is one of the two constitutional languages of Malta, having become official, however, only in 1934, and being considered as the national language. Previously, Sicilian was the official and cultural language of Malta from the 12th century, and Tuscan dialect of Italian from the 16th century. Alongside Maltese, English is also an official language of the country and hence the laws of the land are enacted both in Maltese and English. However, Article 74 of the Constitution states that if there is any conflict between the Maltese and the English texts of any law, the Maltese text shall prevail. Maltese is a Semitic language descended from the now defunct Sicilian Arabic, Arabic dialect from southern Italy that developed during the Emirate of Sicily. The Maltese alphabet consists of 30 letters based on the Latin alphabet, including the diacritically altered letters Z, C and G, as well as the letters H and IE. Maltese has a Semitic base with substantial borrowing from Sicilian, Italian, a little French, and more recently and increasingly, English. 
The hybrid character of Maltese was established by a long period of Maltese Sicilian urban bilingualism gradually transforming rural speech and which ended in the early 19th century with Maltese emerging as the vernacular of the entire native population. The language includes different dialects that can vary greatly from one town to another or from one island to another. The Eurobarometer states that 97% per cent of the Maltese population consider Maltese as mother tongue. Also, 88% of the population speak English, 66% speak Italian, and 17% speak French. This widespread knowledge of second languages makes Malta one of the most multilingual countries in the European Union. A study collecting public opinion on what language was preferred discovered that 86% of the population express a preference for Maltese, 12% for English, and 2% for Italian. Still, Italian television channels from Italy-based broadcasters, such as Mediaset and Rai, reach Malta and remain popular. Maltese sign language is used by signers in Malta. Topic: Religion. The predominant religion in Malta is Catholicism. The second article of the Constitution of Malta establishes Catholicism as the state religion and it is also reflected in various elements of Maltese culture. Although entrenched provisions for the freedom of religion are made, there are more than 360 churches in Malta, Gozo and Camino, or one church for every 1,000 residents. The parish church Maltese, Il Parocca, or Il Nisia Paracali, is the architectural and geographic focal point of every Maltese town and village, and its main source of civic pride. This civic pride manifests itself in spectacular fashion during the local village festas, which mark the day of the patron saint of each parish with marching bands, religious processions, special masses, fireworks especially petards, and other festivities. Malta is an apostolic see. The Acts of the Apostles tells of how Saint Paul, on his way from Jerusalem to Rome to face trial, was shipwrecked on the island of Melite, which many Bible scholars identify with Malta, an episode dated around AD 60. As recorded in the Acts of the Apostles, Saint Paul spent three months on the island on his way to Rome, curing the sick, including the father of Publius, the chief man of the island. Various traditions are associated with this account. The shipwreck is said to have occurred in the place today known as St. Paul's Bay. The Maltese saint, St. Publius is said to have been made Malta's first bishop and a grotto in Rabat, now known as St. Paul's Grotto, and in the vicinity of which evidence of Christian burials and rituals from the 3rd century AD has been found, is among the earliest known places of Christian worship on the island. Further evidence of Christian practices and beliefs during the period of Roman persecution appears in catacombs that lie beneath various sites around Malta, including St. Paul's Catacombs and St. Agatha's Catacombs in Rabat, just outside the walls of Medina. The latter, in particular, were beautifully frescoed between 1200 and 1480, although marauding Turks defaced many of them in the 1550s. There are also a number of cave churches, including the Grotto at Melieja, which is a shrine of the Nativity of Our Lady where, according to legend, St. Luke painted a picture of the Madonna. It has been a place of pilgrimage since medieval times. The Acts of the Council of Chalcedon record that in 451 AD a certain Acacius was Bishop of Malta Melitinus Episcopus. It is also known that in 501 AD, a certain Constantinus, Episcopus Melitonensis, was present at the Fifth Ecumenical Council. In 588 AD, Pope Gregory I deposed Tuchilus, Miletonae Civitatis Episcopus and the clergy and people of Malta elected his successor Trajan in 599 AD. The last recorded bishop of Malta before the invasion of the islands was a Greek named Manas, who was subsequently incarcerated at Palermo. Maltese historian Giovanni Francesco Abella states that following their conversion to Christianity at the hand of St. Paul, the Maltese retained their Christian religion, despite the Fatimid invasion. Abella's writings describe Malta as a divinely ordained bulwark of Christian, European civilization against the spread of Mediterranean Islam. The native Christian community that welcomed Roger I of Sicily was further bolstered by immigration to Malta from Italy, in the 12th and 13th centuries. For centuries, the church in Malta was subordinate to the Diocese of Palermo, except when it was under Charles of Anjou, who appointed bishops for Malta, as did, on rare occasions, the Spanish and later, the Knights. Since 1808 all bishops of Malta have been Maltese. 
As a result of the Norman and Spanish periods, and the rule of the knights, Malta became the devout Catholic nation that it is today. It is worth noting that the office of the Inquisitor of Malta had a very long tenure on the island following its establishment in 1530. The last Inquisitor departed from the islands in 1798, after the Knights capitulated to the forces of Napoleon Bonaparte. During the period of the Republic of Venice, several Maltese families emigrated to Corfu. Their descendants account for about two thirds of the community of some 4,000 Catholics that now live on that island. The patron saints of Malta are St. Paul, St. Publius and St. Agatha. Although not a patron saint, St. George Preca is greatly revered as the second canonized Maltese saint after St. Publius Malta's first acknowledged saint canonized in the year 1634. Pope Benedict XVI canonized him on 3 June 2007. Also, a number of Maltese individuals are recognized as blessed, including Maria Adiodata Pisani and Nasju Falzan, with Pope John Paul II having beatified them in 2001. Various Catholic religious orders are present in Malta, including the Jesuits, Franciscans, Dominicans and Little Sisters of the Poor. Most congregants of the local Protestant churches are not Maltese, their congregations draw on the many British retirees living in the country and vacationers from many other nations. There are approximately 600 Jehovah's Witnesses. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church, the Bible Baptist Church, and the Fellowship of Evangelical Churches each have about 60 affiliates. There are also some churches of other denominations, including St. Andrew's Scots Church in Valletta a joint Presbyterian and Methodist congregation and St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral, and a Seventh-day Adventist Church in Burkirkara. A new apostolic church congregation was founded in 1983 in Guardamanja. The Jewish population of Malta reached its peak in the Middle Ages under Norman rule. In 1479, Malta and Sicily came under Aragonese rule and the Alhambra Decree of 1492 forced all Jews to leave the country, permitting them to take with them only a few of their belongings. Several dozen Maltese Jews may have converted to Christianity at the time to remain in the country. Today, there is one Jewish congregation. There is one Muslim mosque, the Maryam al-Batul Mosque. A Muslim primary school recently opened. Of the estimated 3,000 Muslims in Malta, approximately 2,250 are foreigners, approximately 600 are naturalized citizens, and approximately 150 are native-born Maltese. Zen Buddhism and the Baha'i Faith claim some 40 members. In a survey held by the Malta Today, it was found that approximately 4.5% of the population of Malta gives no preference to any religious belief. The number of atheists has exponentially grown, by doubling from 2014 to 2016. Non-religious people have a higher risk to suffer from discrimination, such as lack of trust by society and unequal treatment by institutions. In the 2015 edition of the annual Freedom of Thought report from the International Humanist and Ethical Union, Malta was in the category of severe discrimination. In 2016, following the abolishment of blasphemy law, Malta was shifted to the category of systematic discrimination, which is the same category as most EU countries. Topic. Migration Topic. Inbound migration Most of the foreign community in Malta, predominantly active or retired British nationals and their dependents, is centred on Slima and surrounding modern suburbs. Other smaller foreign groups include Italians, Libyans and Serbians, many of whom have assimilated into the Maltese nation over the decades. Since the late 20th century, Malta has become a transit country for migration routes from Africa towards Europe. As a member of the European Union and of the Schengen Agreement, Malta is bound by the Dublin Regulation to process all claims for asylum by those asylum seekers that enter EU territory for the first time in Malta. Irregular migrants who land in Malta are subject to a compulsory detention policy, being held in several camps organized by the Armed Forces of Malta AFM, including those near Hal Far and Hal Safi. The compulsory detention policy has been denounced by several NGOs, and in July 2010, the European Court of Human Rights found that Malta's detention of migrants was arbitrary, lacking in adequate procedures to challenge detention, and in breach of its obligations under the European Convention on Human Rights. In January 2014, Malta started granting citizenship for a €650,000 contribution plus investments, contingent on residence and criminal background requirements. Topic. 
Outbound migration In the 19th century, most emigration from Malta was to North Africa and the Middle East, although rates of return migration to Malta were high. Nonetheless, Maltese communities formed in these regions. By 1900, for example, British consular estimates suggest that there were 15,326 Maltese in Tunisia, and in 1903 it was claimed that 15,000 people of Maltese origin were living in Algeria. Malta experienced significant emigration as a result of the collapse of a construction boom in 1907 and after the Second World War, when the birth rate increased significantly, but in the 20th century most emigrants went to destinations in the New World, particularly to Australia, Canada, and the United States. United States. After the Second World War, Malta's Emigration Department would assist emigrants with the cost of their travel. Between 1948 and 1967, 30% of the population emigrated. Between 1946 and the late 1970s, over 140,000 people left Malta on the Assisted Passage Scheme, with 57.6% migrating to Australia, 22% to the UK, 13% to Canada, and 7% to the United States. Emigration dropped dramatically after the mid 1970s and has since ceased to be a social phenomenon of significance. However, since Malta joined the EU in 2004 expatriate communities emerged in a number of European countries particularly in Belgium and Luxembourg. <inaudible> <inaudible> education Primary schooling has been compulsory since 1946, secondary education up to the age of 16 was made compulsory in 1971. The state and the church provide education free of charge, both running a number of schools in Malta and Gozo, including De La Salle College in Cospicua, St. Aloysius College in Burkirkara, St. Paul's Missionary College in Rabat, Malta, St. Joseph's School in Blada el Baya and St. Monica Girls School in Mosta. As of 2006, state schools are organized into networks known as colleges and incorporate kindergarten schools, primary and secondary schools. A number of private schools are run in Malta, including San Andrea School and San Anton School in the Valley of El Imseliat, El Omegare, St. Martin's College in Swatter and St. Michael's School in San Juan. St. Catherine's High School, Pembroke offers an international foundation course for students wishing to learn English before entering mainstream education. As of 2008, there are two international schools, Verdala International School and QSI Malta. The state pays a portion of the teacher's salary in church schools. Education in Malta is based on the British model. Primary school lasts six years. At the age of 11, pupils sit for an examination to enter a secondary school, either a church school, the common entrance examination, or a state school. Pupils sit for SECO level examinations at the age of 16, with passes obligatory in certain subjects such as mathematics, English, and Maltese. Pupils may opt to continue studying at a sixth form college such as Gon Francisca Bella Junior College, St. Aloysius College, Giovanni Kermi Higher Secondary, De La Salle College, St. Edward's College, or else at another post-secondary institution such as MCAST. The sixth form course lasts for two years, at the end of which students sit for the matriculation examination. Subject to their performance, students may then apply for an undergraduate degree or diploma. The University of Malta U. O. M. provides tertiary education at diploma, undergraduate and postgraduate level. The adult literacy rate is 99.5%. Maltese and English are both used to teach pupils at primary and secondary school level, and both languages are also compulsory subjects. Public schools tend to use both Maltese and English in a balanced manner. Private schools prefer to use English for teaching, as is also the case with most departments of the University of Malta. This has a limiting effect on the capacity and development of the Maltese language. Most university courses are in English. Of the total number of pupils studying a first foreign language at secondary level, 51% take Italian whilst 38% take French. Other choices include German, Russian, Spanish, Latin, Chinese and Arabic. Malta is also a popular destination to study the English language, attracting over 80,000 students in 2012. Topic healthcare Malta has a long history of providing publicly funded health care. The first hospital recorded in the country was already functioning by 1372. Today, Malta has both a public healthcare system, known as the Government Healthcare Service, where healthcare is free at the point of delivery, and a private healthcare system. 
Malta has a strong general practitioner delivered primary care base and the public hospitals provide secondary and tertiary care. The Maltese Ministry of Health advises foreign residents to take out private medical insurance. Malta also boasts voluntary organizations such as Alpha Medical, Advanced Care, the Emergency Fire and Rescue Unit (EFRU), St John Ambulance and Red Cross Malta who provide first aid nursing services during events involving crowds. The Mater Dei Hospital, Malta's primary hospital, opened in 2007. It has one of the largest medical buildings in Europe. The University of Malta has a medical school and a faculty of health sciences, the latter offering diploma, degree BSc, and postgraduate degree courses in a number of healthcare disciplines. The Medical Association of Malta represents practitioners of the medical profession. The Malta Medical Students Association MMSA is a separate body representing Maltese medical students, and is a member of EMSA and IFMSA. MIME, the Maltese Institute for Medical Education, is an institute set up recently to provide CME to physicians in Malta as well as medical students. The foundation program followed in the UK has been introduced in Malta to stem the brain drawing of newly graduated physicians to the British Isles. The Malta Association of Dental Students MADS is a student association set up to promote the rights of dental surgery students studying within the Faculty of Dental Surgery of the University of Malta. It is affiliated with IADS, the International Association of Dental Students. See also Health in Malta Topic Culture The culture of Malta reflects the various cultures, from the Phoenicians to the British, that have come into contact with the Maltese islands throughout the centuries, including neighbouring Mediterranean cultures, and the cultures of the nations that ruled Malta for long periods of time prior to its independence in 1964. Topic music While Maltese music today is largely Western, traditional Maltese music includes what is known as Ghana. This consists of background folk guitar music, while a few people, generally men, take it in turns to argue a point in a sing-song voice. The aim of the lyrics, which are improvised, is to create a friendly yet challenging atmosphere, and it takes a number of years of practice to be able to combine the required artistic qualities with the ability to debate effectively. Topic. Literature Documented Maltese literature is over 200 years old. However, a recently unearthed love ballad testifies to literary activity in the local tongue from the medieval period. Malta followed a romantic literary tradition, culminating in the works of Dun Carm Sila, Malta's national poet. Subsequent writers like Ruzer Briffa and Carmenu Vassalo tried to estrange themselves from the rigidity of formal themes and versification. The next generation of writers, including Carl Shembri and Emmanuel Mifsud, widened the tracks further, especially in prose and poetry. Topic: <laughs> Art and Architecture. Maltese architecture has been influenced by many different Mediterranean cultures and British architecture over its history. The first settlers on the island constructed Gantija, one of the oldest man-made freestanding structures in the world. The Neolithic temple builders 3800-2500 BC endowed the numerous temples of Malta and Gozo with intricate bas-relief designs, including spirals evocative of the Tree of Life and animal portraits, designs painted in red ochre, ceramics and a vast collection of human form sculptures, particularly the Venus of Malta. These can be viewed at the temples themselves most notably, the Hypogeum and Tarxan temples, and at the National Museum of Archaeology in Valletta. Malta's temples such as Imnajdra are full of history and have a story behind them. Malta is currently undergoing several large-scale building projects, including the construction of Smart City Malta, the M Towers and Pendergardens, while areas such as the Valletta Waterfront and Tinier Point have been or are being renovated. The Roman period introduced highly decorative mosaic floors, marble colonnades and classical statuary, remnants of which are beautifully preserved and presented in the Roman Domus, a country villa just outside the walls of Medina. The early Christian frescoes that decorate the catacombs beneath Malta reveal a propensity for Eastern, Byzantine tastes. These tastes continued to inform the endeavors of medieval Maltese artists, but they were increasingly influenced by the Romanesque and Southern Gothic movements. Towards the end of the 15th century, Maltese artists, like their counterparts in neighboring Sicily, came under the influence of the school of Antonello da Messina, which introduced Renaissance ideals and concepts to the decorative arts in Malta. 
The artistic heritage of Malta blossomed under the Knights of St. John, who brought Italian and Flemish Mannerist painters to decorate their palaces and the churches of these islands, most notably, Matteo Perez de Leccio, whose works appear in the Magisterial Palace and in the Conventual Church of St. John in Valletta, and Filippo Palladini, who was active in Malta from 1590 to 1595. For many years, Mannerism continued to inform the tastes and ideals of local Maltese artists. The arrival in Malta of Caravaggio, who painted at least seven works during his 15 month stay on these islands, further revolutionized local art. Two of Caravaggio's most notable works, The Beheading of St. John the Baptist and St. Jerome Writing, are on display in the oratory of the Conventual Church of St. John. His legacy is evident in the works of local artists Giulio Casarino (1582–1637) and Stefano Arardi (1630–1716). However, the Baroque movement that followed was destined to have the most enduring impact on Maltese art and architecture. The glorious vault paintings of the celebrated Calabresi artist Mattia Preti transformed the severe mannerist interior of the conventual church St. John into a Baroque masterpiece. Preti spent the last 40 years of his life in Malta, where he created many of his finest works, now on display in the Museum of Fine Arts in Valletta. During this period, local sculptor Melchior Gaffa emerged as one of the top Baroque sculptors of the Roman school. During the 17th and 18th century, Neapolitan and Rococo influences emerged in the works of the Italian painters Luca Giordano (1632–1705) and Francesco Solomina (1657–1747), and these developments can be seen in the work of their Maltese contemporaries such as Gio Nicola Behaguer (1698–1752) and Francesco Zara (1710–1773). The Rococo movement was greatly enhanced by the relocation to Malta of Antoine de Favre (1706–1798), who assumed the position of court painter to Grand Master Pinto in 1744. Neoclassicism made some inroads among local Maltese artists in the late 18th century, but this trend was reversed in the early 19th century, as the local church authorities, perhaps in an effort to strengthen Catholic resolve against the perceived threat of Protestantism during the early days of British rule in Malta, favored and avidly promoted the religious themes embraced by the Nazarene movement of artists. Romanticism, tempered by the naturalism introduced to Malta by Giuseppe Calli, informed the «Salon» artists of the early 20th century, including Edward and Robert Caruana Dingley. Parliament established the National School of Art in the 1920s. During the Reconstruction period that followed the Second World War, the emergence of the «Modern Art Group» whose members included Joseph Calia (1898–1998), George Prica (1909–1984), Anton Inglot (1915–1945), Emvin Cremona (1919–1987), Frank Portelli (1922–2004), Antoine Camilleri (1922–2005), and Esprit Barthet (1919–1999) greatly enhanced the local art scene. This group of forward-looking artists came together forming an influential pressure group known as the Modern Art Group. Together they forced the Maltese public to take seriously modern aesthetics and succeeded in playing a leading role in the renewal of Maltese art. Most of Malta's modern artists have in fact studied in art institutions in England, or on the continent, leading to the explosive development of a wide spectrum of views and to a diversity of artistic expression that has remained characteristic of contemporary Maltese art. In Valletta, the National Museum of Fine Arts features work from artists such as H. Craig Hanna. Cuisine Maltese cuisine shows strong Sicilian and English influences as well as influences of Spanish, Maghreban and Provençal cuisines. A number of regional variations, particularly with regards to gozo, can be noted as well as seasonal variations associated with the seasonal availability of produce and Christian feasts such as Lent, Easter and Christmas. Food has been important historically in the development of a national identity in particular the traditional fencada i.e., the eating of stewed or fried rabbit. Topic. Customs. A 2010 Charities Aid Foundation study found that the Maltese were the most generous people in the world, with 83% contributing to charity. Maltese folktales include various stories about mysterious creatures and supernatural events. 
These were most comprehensively compiled by the scholar and pioneer in Maltese archaeology Manuel Magri in his core criticism, Regef Misarigietna, Fables from Our Forefathers. This collection of material inspired subsequent researchers and academics to gather traditional tales, fables, and legends from all over the archipelago. Magri's work also inspired a series of comic books released by Klab Kotbier Malton in 1984. The titles included Bin as Sultan Jizu Weg X Zeba Tat Trongiat Muvia and Ir Ray. Many of these stories have been popularly rewritten as children's literature by authors writing in Maltese, such as Trevor Zara. While giants, witches and dragons feature in many of the stories, some contain entirely Maltese creatures like the Ka Ka, Il Beliega and El Imhala among others. The traditional Maltese obsession with maintaining spiritual or ritual purity means that many of these creatures have the role of guarding forbidden or restricted areas and attacking individuals who broke the strict codes of conduct that characterized the island's pre-industrial society. Topic. Traditions. Traditional Maltese proverbs reveal a cultural importance of childbearing and fertility. Is zwig mingarge tarbia ma fihx tagadia. A childless marriage cannot be a happy one. This is a belief that Malta shares with many other Mediterranean cultures. In Maltese folktales the local variant of the classic closing formula, and they all lived happily ever after, is, you gomru you hamru, you spikat and they lived together, and they had children together, and the tale is finished. Rural Malta shares in common with Mediterranean society a number of superstitions regarding fertility, menstruation and pregnancy, including the avoidance of cemeteries during the months leading up to childbirth, and avoiding the preparation of certain foods during menses. Pregnant women are encouraged to satisfy their cravings for specific foods, out of fear that their unborn child will bear a representational birthmark Maltese, zuka, literally, desire or craving. Maltese and Sicilian women also share certain traditions that are believed to predict the sex of an unborn child, such as the cycle of the moon on the anticipated date of birth, whether the baby is carried high or low during pregnancy, and the movement of a wedding ring, dangled on a string above the abdomen sideways denoting a girl, back and forth denoting a boy. Traditionally, Maltese newborns were baptized as promptly as possible, should the child die in infancy without receiving this vital sacrament, and partly because according to Maltese and Sicilian folklore an unbaptized child is not yet a Christian, but still a Turk. Traditional Maltese delicacies served at a baptismal feast include biscottini tal magmudia almond macaroons covered in white or pink icing, it torta tal marmorata a spicy, heart-shaped tart of chocolate-flavored almond paste, and a liqueur known as rosalin, made with rose petals, violets and almonds, on a child's first birthday. In a tradition that still survives today, Maltese parents would organize a game known as il cusija, where a variety of symbolic objects would be randomly placed around the seated child. These may include a hard-boiled egg, a Bible, crucifix or rosary beads, a book, and so on. Whichever object the child shows most interest in is said to reveal the child's path and fortunes in adulthood. Money refers to a rich future while a book expresses intelligence and a possible career as a teacher. Infants who select a pencil or pen will be writers. Choosing Bibles or rosary beads refers to a clerical or monastic life. If the child chooses a hard-boiled egg, it will have a long life and many children. More recent additions include calculators refers to accounting, thread fashion, and wooden spoons cooking and a great appetite. Traditional Maltese weddings featured the bridal party walking in procession beneath an ornate canopy, from the home of the bride's family to the parish church, with singers trailing behind serenading the bride and groom. The Maltese word for this custom is il gilwa. This custom along with many others has long since disappeared from the islands. In the face of modern practices, new wives would wear the gonella, a traditional item of Maltese clothing. However, it is no longer worn in modern Malta. Today's couples are married in churches or chapels in the village or town of their choice. The nuptials are usually followed by a lavish and joyous wedding reception, often including several hundred guests. Occasionally, couples will try to incorporate elements of the traditional Maltese wedding in their celebration. A resurgent interest in the traditional wedding was evident in May 2007, when thousands of Maltese and tourists attended a traditional Maltese wedding in the style of the 16th century, in the village of Zuriac. 
This included Il Gilwa, which led the bride and groom to a wedding ceremony that took place on the Parvis of St. Andrew's Chapel. The reception that followed featured folklore music Ghana and dancing. Festivals Local festivals, similar to those in southern Italy, are commonplace in Malta and Gozo, celebrating weddings, christenings and, most prominently, saints' days, honoring the patron saint of the local parish. On saints' days, the festa reaches its apex with a high mass featuring a sermon on the life and achievements of the patron saint, after which a statue of the religious patron is taken around the local streets in solemn procession, with the faithful following in respectful prayer. The atmosphere of religious devotion quickly gives way to several days of celebration and revelry, band processions, fireworks, and late-night parties. Carnival Maltese, Il Carnival Ta Malta has had an important place on the cultural calendar after Grand Master Piero de Ponte introduced it to the islands in 1535. It is held during the week leading up to Ash Wednesday, and typically includes masked balls, fancy dress and grotesque mask competitions, lavish late-night parties, a colorful, ticker-tape parade of allegorical floats presided over by King Carnival Maltese, IRE Tall Carnival, marching bands and costumed revelers, Holy Week Maltese, Il Gimga Kadsa starts on Palm Sunday had Il Palm and ends on Easter Sunday had Il Gid. Numerous religious traditions, most of them inherited from one generation to the next, are part of the Paschal celebrations in the Maltese Islands, honoring the death and resurrection of Jesus. Narja, or El Imnarja, pronounced Lim Nar Ya, is one of the most important dates on the Maltese cultural calendar. Officially, it is a national festival dedicated to the feast of Saints Peter and Saint Paul. Its roots can be traced back to the pagan Roman feast of Luminaria, literally the Illumination. When torches and bonfires lit up the early summer night of 29 June, a national feast since the rule of the knights, Narja is a traditional Maltese festival of food, religion and music. The festivities still commence today with the reading of the Bandu, an official governmental announcement, which has been read on this day in Malta since the 16th century. Originally, Narja was celebrated outside St. Paul's Grotto, in the north of Malta. However, by 1613 the focus of the festivities had shifted to the Cathedral of St. Paul, in Medina, and featured torchlight processions, the firing of 100 petards, horse races, and races for men, boys and slaves. Modern Narja festivals take place in and around the woodlands of Buscat, just outside the town of Rabat. It is said that under the nights, this was the one day in the year when the Maltese were allowed to hunt and eat wild rabbit, which was otherwise reserved for the hunting pleasures of the nights. The close connection between Narja and rabbit stew Maltese, Fencada, remains strong today. In 1854, British Governor William Reed launched an agricultural show at Buscat, which is still being held today. The farmers' exhibition is still a seminal part of the Narja festivities today. Narja today is one of the few occasions when participants may hear traditional Maltese, Ghana. Traditionally, grooms would promise to take their brides to Narja during the first year of marriage. For luck, many of the brides would attend in their wedding gown and veil. Although this custom has long since disappeared from the islands, Isle of MTV is a one day music festival produced and broadcast on an annual basis by MTV. The festival has been arranged annually in Malta since 2007, with major pop artists performing each year. 2012 saw the performances of worldwide acclaimed artists Flo Rida, Nelly Furtado, and William at Foso Square in Floriana. Over 50,000 people attended, which marked the biggest attendance so far. In 2009, the first New Year's Eve street party was organized in Malta, parallel to what major countries in the world organize. Although the event was not highly advertised, and was controversial due to the closing of an arterial street on the day, it is deemed to have been successful and will most likely be organized every year. The Malta International Fireworks Festival is an annual festival that has been arranged in the Grand Harbour of Valletta since 2003. The festival offers fireworks displays of a number of Maltese as well as foreign fireworks factories. The festival is usually held in the last week of April every year. Topic. Media The most widely read and financially the strongest newspapers are published by Allied Newspapers Limited, mainly The Times of Malta 27% and its Sunday edition The Sunday Times of Malta 51.6%. Due to bilingualism half of the newspapers are published in English and the other half in Maltese. 
The Sunday newspaper It Torca, the Torch, published by the Union Press, a subsidiary of the General Workers' Union, is the widest Maltese language paper. Its sister paper, El Horizonte, the Horizon, is the Maltese daily with biggest circulation. There is a high number of daily or weekly newspapers, there is one paper for every 28,000 people. Advertising, sales and subsidies are the three main methods of financing newspapers and magazines. However, most of the papers and magazines tied to institutions are subsidized by the same institutions, they depend on advertising or subsidies from their owners. There are eight terrestrial television channels in Malta TVM, TVM2, Parliament TV, 1, Net Television, Smash Television, F Living, and XEJK. These channels are transmitted by digital terrestrial, free to air signals on UHF Channel 66. The state and political parties subsidize most of the funding of these television stations. TVM, TVM2 and Parliament TV are operated by Public Broadcasting Services, the national broadcaster and member of the EBU. Media.Link Communications Limited, the owner of Net Television, and One Productions Limited, the owner of One, are affiliated with the Nationalist and Labour Parties, respectively. The rest are privately owned. The Malta Broadcasting Authority supervises all local broadcasting stations and ensures their compliance with legal and license obligations as well as the preservation of due impartiality, in respect of matters of political or industrial controversy or relating to current public policy, while fairly apportioning broadcasting facilities and time between persons belong to different political parties. The Broadcasting Authority ensures that local broadcasting services consist of public, private and community broadcasts that offer varied and comprehensive programming to cater for all interests and tastes. The Malta Communications Authority reported that there were 147,896 pay TV subscriptions active at the end of 2012, which includes analog and digital cable, pay digital terrestrial TV and IPTV. For reference the latest census counts 139,583 households in Malta. Satellite reception is available to receive other European television networks such as the BBC from Great Britain and RAI and Mediaset from Italy. Holidays Sport See also Outline of Malta Index of Malta-related articles Sovereign Military Order of Malta References Notes Sources Kramer, John Anthony Geographical and Historical Description of Ancient Greece. Clarendon Press. pp. 45-46. Map of Malta and Gozo. Street Map of Malta and Gozo. Retrieved 10 April 2009. Photos of Gozo Sister Island of Malta. Photos of Gozo. Retrieved 17 November 2006. Photos of Malta. Retrieved 26 May 2008. Malta. The World Factbook. Gov.mt. Government of Malta. Retrieved 1 November 2005. Omerta, Journal for Applied Anthropology, Vol. 2007 over 1, Thematic Issue on Malta Topic. Attribution Malta. MSN Encarta. Archived from the original on 1 November 2009. Retrieved 1 November 2005. Bibliography 1942, Malta gets George Cross for bravery. BBC. On this day. 15 April 1942. Retrieved of June 2006. Bowen Jones, Howard, et al., 1962. Malta Background for Development. University of Durham. OCLC 204863. Kasser, Carmel, 2000. A Concise History of Malta. MSIDA, Mareva Publications. 
ISBN 978-1870579520. Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Malta. Encyclopædia Britannica. 17 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 507-514. Francesco Balbi di Correggio 1568 translated Ernel Bradford 1965. Chapter 2. The Siege of Malta 1565. Penguin 2003. ISBN 978-0-14-101202-5. Carolyn Bain 2004. Malta. Lonely Planet Publication. ISBN 978-1-74059-178-2. Charles Mifsud, The Climatological History of the Maltese Islands, Minerva 1984 Paul Williams 2009. Malta, Island Under Siege. Pen and Sword Books. ISBN 978-1-84884-012-6. Rudolf, Uwe Jens, Berg, W. G. 2010. Historical Dictionary of Malta. USA, Scarecrow Press. p. 43. ISBN 9780810853134. Hartman, Paul Ed. 1998. Ataz, Ais Devram 2008. 8,000 Years of Maltese Maritime History, Trade, Piracy, and Naval Warfare in the Central Mediterranean. Gainesville, University Press of Florida. ISBN, 0813031796 Topic. External links GovernmentGov.mt, Maltese Government Official Site Laws of Malta, the official Laws of Malta website. The Maltese Armed Forces official website. Malta Environment and Planning Authorities GIS General Information. Malta. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Malta from UCB Libraries GovPubs. Malta at Curlie. Malta Profile from the BBC News. Wikimedia Atlas of Malta. Geographic data related to Malta at OpenStreetMap Migration Malta, an information source on immigration and Malta scholarly articles, policy documents, press releases etc. Media the Times of Malta Travel Official Maltese Tourism Website Maltese Relocation and Travel Guide